Good morning. Today is Saturday, March 9th, 2024, and it is a partly cloudy day outside today. Um, very light winds. I'm looking out the window, uh, so it's pleasant, but we sure could use some rain or snow. Uh, it's pretty dry out there today. So uh, my internal weather is about the same, partly partly sunny. It's a, it's a good day, uh, and it's also good to be with you. So today we're going to read from John's Gospel, and we'll continue in this little book, Rule for a New Brother, which again is uh, what, what would be given as, uh, to a new postulant in a monastery, a, a uh, novice monk, if you will. Uh, they, would, uh, they would have time to read and meditate on this as they would do their prayers. Uh, this was actually given to me by a monk. This book was given to me by a Lutheran monk, as a matter of fact, by uh, the late uh, the Reverend John Cochran, uh, who was the prior at St. Augustine's House in Oxford, Michigan, where I go on retreat every year. Uh, so this, uh, this book is, is uh, special to me. So uh, we'll start with brief scripture from the Gospel of John. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. There <clears throat> we go. Sorry about the door. Uh, there's definitely some activity here in the church this morning. In Jesus of Nazareth, God shows in a special way how urgently he seeks for you and how entirely he has committed himself to your happiness. In Jesus of Nazareth, one person shows how completely we can belong to God, how much freedom and humanity how much courage and self-forgetfulness one can possess when one has been found by God and has surrendered to him. In Jesus there is also a future for you, as you go by his road through sin and death, towards fellowship and love, unfailing glory and life. In faith you will recognize him in the works of his hands and above all in us, made in his image and likeness, and most clearly of all, in the love which is Jesus. But even if you receive no sign, no word from him, you will still recognize him. His very absence is full of the mystery of his greatness. It can help you not to seek and serve some image of him you yourself have created. So never let yourself lose heart, but go on seeking him in everything, in everybody. They are all pledges that you will finally meet him. Work hard to know him face to face. For as sure as the dawn is his coming, certain as the latter reigns. You, for if you abide in love, you will abide in God and not wander any more in darkness. Then live in joyfulness and hope unanxious, without any trace of fear, at peace with yourself and the world, in ceaseless reverence and thanks, because God's love for you endures forever. Wow. Live in, live in joyfulness and hope unanxious. God make it so. Uh, there are plenty of anxious people out there. I'm often one, uh, included among them. So let's pray for all of those who have fears in their hearts, fears which may be either grounded in reality or not grounded in reality. For those who have fears about their health, for those who are fearful of the upcoming election season, for those who are fearful about anything. For them, let's pray the Lord's prayer.
Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. God's blessing be yours today and every day. And I will see you again, um, hopefully on Sunday morning, either online or in person. Worship is at 9.30, and remember that uh, you need to spring ahead tonight. Um, this is a time that I, I often have trouble <laughs> with springing ahead, but uh, I, I hope that you don't have as much trouble as I often do. So uh, God be with you. I will see you tomorrow uh, at 9.30.